I've got a workout for you today that's going to touch pretty much your whole body, from your feet to your hands. Uh, thanks to the ATG team, Ben and Derek, thank you so much for these workouts. Very much appreciated. Starting off with the sled is awesome because it activates, you know, almost every muscle in your body, starting with your feet which I like, it gets the feet warmed up, the legs warmed up tremendously, even a little bit of the upper body. So sled, fantastic. This particular sled, I bit the bullet and I went for big bucks. It's, it's an expensive sled. And, um, but you know, you can look online and maybe figure out something where, um, you know, you can make a, a version of your own sled. Second exercise, calf and Achilles stretch. Hold these stretches for 60 seconds each, each leg. 60 seconds. You don't want to play around with the calf and the Achilles. You want them stretched and strong. Next exercise is tibialis raises that muscle right next to your shin bone, very important muscle for stopping, jumping, that kind of thing. So tennis, stop and go, tibialis raises. Next one is a uh, poliquin pulse. And I'm just going down, trying to get the knee over the toe, knees over toes. Everything you've heard in the past, just forget it because you need to get that synovial fluid going. That's going to help heal your joints and you've got to move them. Once you stop moving them, things get worse. Okay, here I'm doing like a split squat going deeper. I'm using the slant board because it helps you get deeper. And that's what you want. I still have a ways to go. I want to get my thigh all the way on top of my calf, which I'm not there yet, but I'm working on it. And I'm trying to keep my posture good. My upper body is straight as possible. These are excellent exercises and they can be scaled down if you have knee problems and you can work your way up to this. Okay, back extensions. Great for the glutes, the lower back. I'm doing one-legged. You wanna do one-legged. And of course, I'm going to do both sides. And you want to hold it at the top a little bit. When you get right there, hold it. I'm not holding it long enough. You want to hold it right there for a good second or two. Right there. Okay, there I've got some dumbbell rows in an inclined position. I like this because it makes me tighten up the whole backside of my body. And I'm still working on my upper back, trying to get that back straightened out. Next exercise, band pull-aparts. Great for opening up the chest and for your back muscles, this is fantastic. And shoulders, great exercise. And here I'm doing leg ups, great for the lower abs. You gotta do at least 20, if not more. Bringing my knees up to the elbows.
And last exercise, grippers. See, I'm pointing to my extensor muscle there. It's good for tennis players, but for anyone in life in general, you need a strong grip. And notice I'm holding the grip there, right there for that split second. Once you squeeze it, hold it for a split second. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember, you've got to work out your entire body and you want to do it in a way that's going to keep you flexible and strong. And that's what this workout is all about. Please give me a like, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Any questions or comments, post those below. I get back to you as soon as I can. All the best, take care.